Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Saka here, and welcome back to another episode of Crusader Kings 2. When we last left off, we were bopping these Welsh, and we were heading to Brittany. So tell you what, let's go ahead and stand down our entire army here, and then we'll stand them back up. We've got 2,500. That should be enough to do some uh, to do some work. Let's raise up our boats and raise up our levees here. Get them all down here, get them all on a boat, and get them down south to Brittany, shall we? All right, let us embark. You guys make a landing here in the Isle of La Manche. And then you all get to march right there. Hopefully no army comes to, to snipe us. Ooh, that is just barely enough numbers, isn't it? All right, boats, why don't you go ahead and stand down? Oh, 14 of 30 ships. Nope. Oh, never a shortage of soldiers. I like to hear that. Go ahead and port back up. Vassal levies raised too long. Interesting. Well, there's the elective. I guess I have no choice. All right, so the elections will kick off. Factions on Gavelkine. All of these things are kicking off. It's succession law after succession law. And unfortunately, Gavelkind is not what we want. We don't want all of this split because then we'll be right back where we were. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to raise up all of our vassal levies before we do this. We're going to get them all centralized in Dublin. Oh, didn't mean for that to happen. And we will not be blackmailed. Alright, so there is the war there, and they have quite a few troops, unfortunately. 1,900 troops here, with no morale. Let's see if we can sneak in here and start picking these guys off one at a time. These 500 are going to be tough to break through. Let's get these guys here to Atoll. This siege will go ahead and finish up, hopefully, because we need these guys... You know what? We need these guys here. Go ahead and embark on the boats. We'll let the ticking war score um, go up there. These two guys can disband. You guys can disband. <clears throat> we have quite the numbers here, don't we? Luckily, we've got money. Military, the mercs. Let's see, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, about 7,000 troops, I would say. A nice nine stack would, should be, should be good. 365 a pop, there you guys go. Okay, all of you guys here get down to Leinster. See if you guys can sneak on through to Leinster. These boats should be coming back. You know what, the Mercs, I think will be okay to, um... To continue on so these guys are moving <clears throat> where are they going looks like they might be trying to um, join up which would be fine our 9,200 troops can definitely join up once we get our army together we'll assign a commander these boats are coming back but I don't think they need to go ahead and port up we will not go gavel kind on my watch good sir all right, disband the boats so we're not paying for them. These guys are all joining up up here. That's fine. Unmarried heir. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this election thing going. So, Kate Mel is the nominee there. And Tannis Nate Freak. All right, we'll go ahead and sort by the name. Nate Freak there. And instead of nominating him... We'll go down here and nominate Nate Freak. Right there. So our realm will stay together. We can designate a regent. Someone who likes us and is high up. Alpin, sure. You're good. The unmarried heir. Let's see. We need to complement the stewardship here. Courtier. You're a scholar. 
Hmm. This isn't actually a bad lady. Briga, a courtier in Stevenkhold. There we go. You're good. All right, let's take this nice and easy now. So these guys are all shacking up, and I don't know if this will count in the battle. It may. Because we're sieging down Brittany as it is. We're getting that ticking war score. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, we can uh, keep on going. Emmanuel's on the side. Personal combat skill one. Geraldo, Geraldo, and Kellick shall be leading there. And then we can just go ahead and bust across. I don't think these guys will actually be any help. We'll go ahead and disband them so we don't have to pay for them. They'll they'll be fine. The R10,000 can definitely do the work. All right. Nice and easy, real respectable like. All right, so we can get married. That's fine. These 1500 are having a heyday. These 1900 are coming down. We should be able to reinforce them well. Okay, so they're going around. We'll be out of Dublin. They're going to Tyrone. We'll be free and clear, and then we can get everyone together and just start smashing faces. How about that? All right, 13,000 troops. Let's see if we can catch these guys off at Ulster. The Pope has died. We still have enough people for the siege. Ticking war score is still ticking for that first war. And we have plenty of... Oh, where are you going, good sir? I think not. Can we catch him before he leaves? Yes, we can. Smashy smash smash. Your revolt will be swift and terrible. Go ahead and disband them. They're not going to be of any use to us. All right, let's make the straight crossing and reinforce our poor uh, vassal levies here. We're making just a brief straight crossing. They'll have an advantage, but not for too long. Our 13,000 will steamroll. Then we can take these 2,000 out, get across to the Isle of Man, smash them, and then we'll just go and just blast some holding. That should be fine. All right, so that was a victory there. This army has fallen, 11 war score. This is their capital. We might be able to just bust through Galloway with our army. Make it across to the Isle of Man. Oh, Sogan the Just finds out how awesome we are. So the dude actually likes us even though we're at war. I think we need another mission here. And we need to sort uh, who would be easy to turn positive. The Earl of Gwent, reigning in Gwent. Okay, that looks like we could do something like that. Is that part of the revolt? No, it isn't. All right, so our chancellor will hop over here to Gwent, start talking nice to them. We do have a 10 to one ratio here. Let's just go across to the Isle of Man before they, uh, they siege that down. We'll get the penalty, but we've got mercenaries in order to uh, to counter that. And the king himself of the revolt is part of that army, if we could capture him. We did capture one. We'll just make it on across. How's things going in Brittany? We're still making good progress. So we'll win that war handily. And then we'll just go smash um, the revolt here. All right, 13,000 to 1,200. Let's just smash his capital up a bit. Let them get uh, their morale up. That way, when we attack them, we get like maximum war score from it. There we go, smash the capital. We lost a few troops, but not too many. I stumbled to a courtier eating cookies outside the kitchen. They apologized and offered me a cookie. Reacts to the cynical comments. I'm sorry, but that cookie looks suspicious. He wants me to stop being cynical. Huh. Well, we're kind of cynical. That's just sort of our shtick. That's what we do. All right, assault that holding. Some more war score. We have Brittany done. We'll offer peace and enforce those demands. We've taken that. And now we just have to get these guys home. Let's raise up our boats. 
come on down to Brittany. If you can, please, sir. We'll embark there. As far as this battle goes, let's go ahead and smash this army. Now that they've gotten enough morale back that it's kind of a big fight. The king is not leading this one, unfortunately. All right, you guys can embark. Embark, please. No navies present large enough. All right, then let's get these boats down here then. If you please. All right, so that battle is going well. We should get some decent war score from that. Kill a lot of folks. 14 war score from that. Boats are now joined up. We should be able to transport now. No navies present which are large enough to transport. Really, our 2,500. What happens if we just disband? Half our troops. Well, we'll let them recover then and use this Merc army to our advantage. We got Galway completely sieged down. We can work on these holdings now. And let's just... That's 2,600 troops. I don't think I want to blow through 2,600 troops like that. We'll see if there's other counties that are weaker that we can just uh, siege down. For war score, a child lacks a guardian. Uh, you're a good learner or intrigue. Let's educate you with the uh, Seamus. Increasing his opinion. Outstanding. So what's it look like here? 1,900 troops. We can go ahead and blast through there, I think. Or are you coming to fight me? You're going to Galway. You're trying to siege things down. All right, our vassal. Opinion improved. That is what I'm talking about. Old boy doing the work. Who's our next vassal on the list? Going to be the mayor of Denbay. In Perf we did it did did. Awesome. So you will head to Perf we did did. Do your do your job. Let's assault this holding. We'll take a lot of losses here, but they're mostly mercs. <clears throat> so dangerous faction, 73 to lower crown authority. That's no good. We don't want things like that to happen. We just got our elective succession back. We just got our realm together. Sort of fix that mistake that we did. 16 war score, 100%. You, sir, are thrown in jail. Outstanding. Let's stand everyone down, get everyone home, and take a look here. So dangerous faction, 72%. And these guys like us. Send a gift. You don't want to do that. You don't want to join. 75, 20, and 32. You all like us now. Asking us, no, dude. It's not my call. Matter of fact. Let's see what we can do with you. Because he acted against us, we should be able to um, get rid of him fairly quickly. So Sogan, we can revoke his title. The Duke of Galway, and he is a traitor. So we will take that from him. It's not my call. So now he is the Count of Ulster. Can we strip him of, the, of that too? All right, only Lollard vassals will object. Oh, okay. We'll take that away from him too. And we will revoke his last county of Galway. There you go. So our domain is too big, but we've basically stripped this guy for all he's worth. Can we banish him? Just uh, get rid of him here. We can't banish, huh? He can afford the 10 gold. He's going to have claims. Let me actually take a look at him here. Yeah, he's got weak claims that can be inherited by the successor. He hates us enough. Let's just throw him in the Ublet. That way we can get rid of him and not really have to worry about him. So you, good sir, will be thrown in the deepest, darkest pit of the dungeon. Phoenicia. 
Revoke the vassal titles. Can we revoke your title? The county of poise, he is a traitor. You, sir, are nothing. Nothing at all. Can we banish you? Ransom, execute, release. Nope, we'll throw you in the ublet. Nothing you can do about that. And now we have Fine, who really hates us as well. Your title has been revoked, traitor. And you will be thrown in the ublet. And now we go to our last prisoner, Urcade, who is the Duke of Connacht. He really hates us. The heir, yeah, I mean, not so much, but I mean, they're traitors. No traitor will hold a title in my realm. We'll give that to someone who likes us. The Duchy of Connacht, he is a traitor. Good bye, good sir. And you know what? You're not good for your county. Lollard, you heretic. Now you get thrown in the ublet. Aha. All right, so let's give out this land to people who actually like us here. All right, so we have the County of Connacht that we are holding. If we are a duke, what what is our duchy titles? We have the Duchy of De Huaybarth. We hold just one of the titles there. Prince Fergus. Do you desire the Duchy of De Huaybarth? He does. Too many held duchies. We can get that to go away. You, sir, are now the Duke of De Huaybarth. And include the lower titles, too. There you go. So he should be right as rain, member of our dynasty. Outstanding. So he owns the county of Dyfed as well. Now we are also the Duke of Galloway. We personally only own Galloway, and it is a travesty. So let's appoint a family member here to the Duke of Galway. So maybe our son, Caithmel? Let's see, our vassals, let's go by the rank. And do we have a non-count? Oh, in our court. Do we have a non-count here of our family who really likes us? Nafrek, Tanist, awesome. You, sir, are now the Duke of Galloway. Outstanding. So Duke Nate Freak, Neat Freak, <laughs> owns Galloway. How about our other duchies? The Duchy of Gwynedd. We own two of the three there. Duchy of Leinster, Duchy of Meath, Duchy of Connacht. Do we own both of these? We only own one. This guy isn't our family member. It would be good to give it to a family member. Meath is Dublin and Kildare. It kind of sucks that our counties are sort of piecemeal in all of these, uh, these realms. But I think we could get rid of the Duchy of Gwynedd to Prince Gosakt. Do you desire the Duchy of Gwynedd? You do. Title claimant, too many held duchies. We can change his mind, right as rain, if we grant him the Duchy of Gwynedd there. So minus 32. We're still on these holdings, but he is the Duke of Gwynedd. Can we pay him off? 49 gold for 30. There you go, good sir. So we're getting some content uh, vassals here. Matter of fact, let's... Oh, we can't do that till July. So do we still own too many duchies? We own three duchies. We need to get rid of one to get rid of the penalty. So Connacht. That's uh, 1,100 troops. I mean, that, that drop us down to 5,500, which is still a pretty good number. So if we gave it to one of a, another family member who really likes us, who isn't a count yet, like Corsian. Title claimant, well, he is just all kinds of uh, wrong against us. We can't give it to the princess. Dondade. 
How do you feel about me, a title claimant? What is your title claim? Island, oh, just all the kingdoms. So I don't want to give him too much land. Alrighty. Those are our rivals. We definitely don't want to give them anything. A sibling. Our half-brother, Steward of Caithness. Minus five. Title claimant on the Duchy of Munster, Moray, De Huaybarth, and the County of Oriel. He doesn't... I think if we gave him Canacht, that might not be too bad. He isn't... Uh, he's craven. He's just. He wouldn't stand up against us. Why not? You are now the Count... Or the Duke of Connacht. There you go. So now we have a Duke of Connacht. Mayor sees how awesome we are. Outstanding. So, our domain is too big by one. The count, uh, County of Poise isn't in a kerfuffle. The County of Ulster isn't in a kerfuffle. Perfwidded did is in a kerfuffle, so I'll give I'll, I'll, I'll give a count out. How about... Let's see, you dead. You dead. I don't think we can make a countess, can we? No, we can't make a countess. A nephew? That really likes us of our bloodline? Wouldn't be too bad if we made him the count. The count of Perfwidid. There you go. Outstanding. So now we have uh, some nephews that has some land. We should not be on our vassal penalty for too many held duchies. Just the... Uh, they want counties, their title claimants, all that is well and good. But I think um, if we sort by opinion, we can start working on some... Oh, the bishops definitely need. Are you guys heretics? You are. Demand religious conversion. You're not going to do it, huh? Is a ruler opinion. All right. Send you a gift. 15 gold. Now, are you going to... You're still not going to do it. Okay. That is uh, for shame. And this guy needs buttered up as well. Interesting. So we've got uh, a lot of religious vassals, but only two is showing up as direct holdings. Unfortunately, we need to get our uh, court chaplain over here in Osory. Or is that our court chaplain? Oh, he's already in Osory. Are you the heretic? No, you're not. You're Seamus. And yeah, you're already in Osory. No, you, you're talking to yourself? How is that? Bishop Seamus. There's 44 gold. Like us better than the Pope. Okay. So everything is coming up Millhouse now. We got our elective succession back. Um, Nat Freak is really ahead in that vote and really ahead in this vote. That is really good uh, that people are voting with us. So Nat Freak should be okay. He's a terrible marshal. He's got an okay wife, though, really, really well. We're not holding a grand tournament. The vassal levies will go down in time. We can raise 5,400 troops. And it looks like England is in a little bit of a revolt. Unfortunately. Um, can we declare war on the revolters? No, we cannot. A valid casus belli. So this is the point in time where I think we need to start sending our chancellor over to England to fabricate some claims. Probably the Duchy of Northumberland may be uh, good enough. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll fabricate claims, a 17% chance in Northumberland. That way we can get a good Cassus Belly to go to war, and everything should be good. Uh, in the meantime, I will go ahead and um, find a good vassal or a good ally, maybe even Brittany. Who knows? Uh, we are of Brittany blood. Just out of curiosity, no, we, we can't uh, form an alliance. He's not going to do it, the opinion and political concerns. 
So I'll look and see if we can get snag us up an ally. This uh, civil war may tear England apart, but I'm fine with that. All right, a... No, not a landed title. We need to educate you with a good... Elbrig, fine. All right, so that is going to do it for me in this episode of Crusader Kings 2. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm, I I'm gonna split up these two episodes um, between uh, this one and the last one, but we've made some positive strides um, looking at the overall uh, picture of England and the Empire of Britannia. We own 53%, so we gain 3% with these uh, titles, but we need to keep on plugging away, and the Duchy of Northumberland is going to be our next target. England itself has 11,000 troops, and then the revolt is 23,000. So this revolt might kick off a lot of lives lost. Maybe if we can fabricate a claim up here, we don't have a truce with this guy. So we may be able to sneak in there while England's in a civil war and really do some damage. But that's going to do it for me in this episode of Crusader Kings 2. Ladies and gentlemen, like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next Crusader Kings 2 video. Take care.